My name is Richard Wimwell. I'm a property developer and a hotelier. We're here today at Oyo Studio Hotel Great Yarmouth. Oyo is a global hotel business and here in the UK, Oyo partners with independent hotel owners like myself and provides us with a whole host of incredible solutions to the challenges that we face in the hospitality market. We have two locations with Oyo and we're about to start a refurb on a third location uh, where we will of course also partner with Oyo. I've been asked to tell you a little bit about the challenges that I faced as a hotelier before partnering with Oyo and how Oyo provided solutions to those challenges. Well, unfortunately, I can't really do that in terms of Great Yarmouth because when we opened with Oyo in August 2019, it was the very first time we opened as Studio Hotel, which is an apart hotel. Before that, we were always just the Midland Hotel that I bought back in 2015. It was very tired, very tatty. So in terms of sort of challenges and solutions, I can definitely talk about that in terms of partly. The first challenge that one has when you first go into hospitality and you start advertising on the OTAs, Booking.com, Expedia, Airbnb. So the first challenge you have when you go into hospitality is what's your room worth? How do you price your rooms? You can take a very simplistic approach and you can just have a flat price for your rooms. But then in order to be on page one of the OTAs, you have to compete on price. Essentially, you have to be the cheapest, or you have to be in, say, the, the cheapest three or four in the location that you're in. And the reason for that is that lots of people who go onto booking.com will say, okay, I need a room in Hartlepool, and then they'll apply that filter, and it'll say cheapest first. If you've got a static pricing model where you don't change your prices all the time, because you don't have time to, or you don't know how to, or whatever it may be, then you have to compete on price, and that's rubbish. So actually, truth be told, I have no idea why it took me so long to give Hartlepool to Oyo. But I did eventually, this year, give Hartlepool to Oyo. They have boosted my revenue, my monthly revenue, from a maximum of 5,000 pound a month from 10 rooms, to £8,000 from seven rooms. The prices that we offer our rooms at, they change on a daily basis, multiple times a day. And that is one of the things that the OTAs recognize on their platform, and that brings you up the order of uh, rankings in the search. Then there's other things. Uh, basically, you know, the description has to be right, the facilities have to be right, photographs have to be right, and Oyo takes care of all of that. They do a really good job at that. By partnering with Oyo and being branded as an Oyo, we start to cut through. So not only do we get brand recognition on the OTAs, we also start to get more and more direct bookings. And direct bookings are gold dust. In the last two months, uh, we had 15%, one five, 15% of our business was direct bookings. Now, this time last year, that was probably one or 2%. And that's all down to Oyo. So if you are a hotelier and you're thinking of joining Oyo, then you know, watch all of this. Uh, every word is the truth.